Hello, bonjour, it's Laura here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a two-step uh, pH question. So this question um, that I've got written at the top of the screen here is calculate the pH of a solution with a hydroxide concentration of 2.5 times 10 to the negative 11 molarity. So what I'm given here in this question is the hydroxide concentration and what I need is the pH. So I'll scroll up and look at my um, various plans and see what, what I should do. So I am given the OH concentration, so that's the top right here, and what I need is the pH, so that's the bottom left. So I'm going to have to go um, two steps. So I'll, I'll go to the left on the top and then I'll go down. Okay, so that will be my plan and I'm going to use this formula first. So Kw equals the hydronium um, concentration times the hydroxide. Then I'm going to use pH times negative log equals um, the hydronium concentration. Okay, so I'll write that plan here. And then we will solve. Now, this will be my first step, and this will be my second step. I'm going to change pen colors and scroll down to give myself some space here. So this will be my first step. Okay, so I want to figure out the hydronium ion concentration. So the formula is uh, the Kw equals hydronium ion concentration times hydroxide ion concentration. So if I rearrange that, then I get Kw divided by the hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, so if you don't know how to get that um, through algebra, um, you can talk to your teacher. So remember that Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14, and then we were given the hydronium ion or the hydroxide ion concentration in the question. And both of these are um, molarity, so moles per liter. So when I do that calculation, I get 0 0.0004. Okay, so that's the concentration of the hydroxide hydronium ion. So how did you, did you get that answer? Um, if not, how did you type that into your calculator? So um, a big issue here with students is getting your order of operations wrong. If you don't use um, brackets or the EXP button, you could end up with an incorrect answer because your order of, oper order of operations are wrong. Um, and when you do this divide, you're actually just dividing by 2.5 instead of um, this whole thing. Okay, so um, if you don't have an EXP button, you should use brackets um, just as I've written here, but I highly recommend um, getting a calculator that's got the EXP button. Now the way that you would type that in would be um, to type the top part, one and then I'd use the EXP button, which means 10 to the exponent something. Um, then I would type my negative button, and then 14, so that's the top. Then I'm gonna divide, so I don't even have to hit equals or brackets, anything. I can just go straight to divide, and then I'd type in 2.5, again, EXP, and then again my positive negative button, and then 11. Okay, and then when you type that all in, um, you should get the same answer that we had before. If you aren't, make sure that you um, 
practice, 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 talk to your teacher so that you are getting the correct answer and that means that you're typing things incorrectly into your calculator. All right, so that was step one. Now we'll do step two. So in step two, the formula is going to be pH equals negative log times the hydronium ion concentration. And we just figured that out. So you take the number that we just figured out and plug that in. All right, and then when I do that, I get 3.397, and then I can round that to 3.40. Um, now in the calculator, the way you would get that is type the positive negative switch button, log, and then the concentration. Okay, so make sure that you're getting both of those steps correct with your calculator. Alright, well done McGwitch.